Hello everyone and welcome to this week's IRQTC Quick Tips video. I'm Brian Traskos, the founder and director of the Institute for Rehabilitative Qigong and Tai Chi. This week, and actually over this whole next month, we're going to talk about one of the hidden reasons why people tend to get weaker as they get older. And I'm just going to give it to you. We like to say that people don't get weaker as they get older, they actually get stiffer as they get older. And the stiffness actually promotes weakness as time goes by. Quick example of this. You might notice or remember that when babies are babies, they're pretty flexible. And as they get older, they become toddlers, they develop more strength, they're able to stand up on their own and move around, but they still maintain quite a lot of flexibility. Now, as kids become more in their teen years, they're 10, 11, and 12 years old, they're physically becoming stronger and their flexibility is still fairly robust. Then as they time goes by and they turn 19, 20, 21, early 20s, they're becoming really physically strong, kind of the, the peak of strength naturally in our lives is around that time. But they have to start working on their flexibility a little bit more. Now you right, might remember when you had kids, when your babies were babies and they had all that flexibility, you could get down on the floor and play with them. You could roll around, you could move them uh, on different toys and push them in wagons and that kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden, time goes by and when they're in their early teens and you're playing ball out in the yard and the ball goes over the fence, your kid just naturally jumps right over the fence and goes to grab the ball. But we look for like the hundred yards that it takes to walk around the fence in order to get that ball. You know, we'll go to the fence and be like, oh gosh. We'll think anything we can do not to have to actually climb over it. And then it seems like time goes on after there where we're less apt to get down, up and down off the floor or it's a bigger chore to do so. We just seem to get stiffer as time goes on. And we never realize that at, that actually perpetuates weakness as we get older. Now, when we think about stiffness, we think about joints primarily, most of us, we think, oh, my joints are stiff, my elbows are stiff, my knees are stiff, my hips are stiff, my back is stiff. But let's think about joints for a moment. You know, like any other machine, and we're not machines, by the way, we are organic, holistic beings, and we have different rules than machines do. We wanna lay that out right now. But if we just look at it from a mechanical perspective for a second, if you look at machines that have gears, when the gears are lined up appropriately, the gears last a long time, especially when there's oil in the gears and that kind of stuff. There's plenty of, um, or there's very little friction in the gearbox and the gears stay safe and happy. Our joints are very similar to that. If our joints are lined up appropriately, whether it's a ball and socket joint, whether it's a hinge joint, whatever kind of joint it is, but if the joint is lined up appropriately and it flexes and extends in alignment, then it's usually fine. It'll last forever. It'll do really, really well. We won't have any problems with it. So the question is, well, why do joints get out of alignment then? Because if the gear was out of alignment just a little bit, like when you're learning how to drive a, a standard shift transmission, not that there's that many of those around anymore, but you know, if you mistime the clutch, it'd be like drrr, drrr, you get all kinds of grinding. Well, if you do enough of that, the gears eventually just grind themselves down and you end up with a box of rocks in your, in your clutch case. I don't even know if that's what it's called, but I've had that happen before. So the, the gears just get ground up and they don't work anymore. So in our joints, if the joints are misaligned for too long of a period of time, then the same kinds of things happen and the joints will end up rubbing on each other inappropriately and then causing all kinds of pain and problems for us. So why would this happen? Well, if we look at a joint, we see that on either side of the joint, you have muscle groups. You have muscle groups that need to be balanced in their activity on either side of the joint. We like to say, and if we look at a joint too, bones make up a joint. On any joint in the body, you've got at least two bones that connect at that joint. So in our elbow, you've got a bone below the joint and a bone above the joint. The bones come together and they form the elbow joint. Now, we like to say that muscles move bones, bones don't move themselves. Muscles are in charge of moving bones and also maintaining joint alignment. If we have, again, we have muscles on either side of the joint, and these muscles need to be balanced appropriately in order to have normal function. If we have tightness on one side of the joint and weakness on the other side of the joint, then the joint will become imbalanced. If we have, or vice versa, if we have weakness on both sides of the joint, then the joint becomes very sloppy. If we have muscle tension all around the joint, then the joint gets closed down and becomes very constricted and very stiff. 
So when we talk about muscle activity, that's what's really important to consider here. Properly balanced muscle tension, tonus, strength, flexibility on either side of the joint is what keeps the joint aligned and will, will help us over time prevent prolonged stiffness and damage in the joint. So next, next week, we are going to talk a little bit more physiologically about how to conceptualize that and then work towards practices to help keep our, our joints more balanced and flexible as time goes by, which will help with our strength as well. So thanks for joining me this week for our IRQTC Quick Tips video. I look forward to seeing you next week where we carry on this conversation and pay attention to how you feel this week, stiffness versus weakness. And also remember to pay attention to how you feel in general because life becomes the meaning that you give it. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.